Hi, my name is Megan Cherry, and today we are at the Crystal Bridges Art Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas, to look at George Tucker's piece, Ward. George Tucker's piece, Ward, is a 1971 painting from the 20th century formalism period. Formalism is the practice of strict adherence to stylized shapes. Stylized shapes are the emphasis to particular qualities in a painting. In this piece, I think the quality that Tucker uses is his use of lines. The way the beds are lined up in straight columns is a great example of the use of lines in the painting. I was first attracted to this painting because it was a scene that looked like it was taken from a hospital. And with my major being nursing, I particularly liked this piece. As I looked more closely at the piece, I noticed that this painting was quite a bit smaller than the other paintings around it. This gave the painting a more intimate feeling that drew me in and gave me the chance to have a closer look at the details of the painting. This piece was created during the peak of the Vietnam War. And many would say at first glance, you would think that Tucker was making an attack against the war. However, Tucker claims that he was simply just trying to shock and jolt people about what was really happening in the war. Now let's take a look at the painting itself, so we can see what each item in the picture means and how it is portrayed in the painting. The first part that is very noticeable is the setup of the beds. Tucker used a bold grid pattern in his more dramatic works, but it is also implied in this painting as well. Along with the bold grid pattern is the use of lines as, we t as I talked about before. The beds are set up very close together in straight lines with the metal headboard. This setup strengthens the idea of death by giving the beds a headstone-like configuration. Another interesting point in this piece is that you notice the people in blue-gray robes getting out of the bed have very elderly characteristics, but the people lying in the beds are all young men. You notice that the elderly are not looking at the men in the beds. They have their heads turned or their backs to the men. One is even hiding behind the curtains. The idea behind this is that the elderly are trying to ignore the fate of the young soldiers because they know that they are approaching the same fate. It is like they do not want to see what is to come for them, but rather ignore the fact in hopes that it will all go away. Another way of portraying death is the vertically hung American flags on the back wall. They are hung as you would see them at a soldier's funeral. The sheets covering the young men's bodies are also a depiction of death. You can see that the sheets have a cylindrical form, like the shape you would see a casket. You also notice that the image as a whole is very gloomy, mainly consisting of whites, grays, and some dark blues. The only real color in the image is the American flags on the wall. The use of colors in the image gives people a depressed feeling and made them blind to what the painting is really about. The people didn't want to find out what the me meaning was behind the painting because it just seemed so depressing that they never actually wanted to know the truth. In contrast to Tucker's piece, Smoker No. 9 by Tom Wesselman is the exact opposite of Ward. Wesselman's piece is from the 20th century pop art section. Smoker No. 9 is a collection of art that contains many different pieces, but all of the pieces contain very little variation. They are all of female lips with bright red lipstick, smoke, and a cigarette. The paintings are quite large compared to Ward. They are very loud and colorful, and they are also very erotic and have a very sexual appeal to them. This is very common in this era of art. These paintings were there to make a statement, and they usually did. Their bright colors and large size is what draws you into the painting. This is very different than the small and dull colors of Tucker's ward. Overall, I enjoyed the truth that Tucker's piece consisted of. He did not sugarcoat any of the details about the death that was occurring in the war and made it a piece that was very interesting to do research on. I like that Tucker's paint paints the world as he sees it. Even if it is bad, the truth is always there in his artwork. Smoker Number no. 9 and Ward may both be from the 20th century, but they are very different 
and the same in a unique way. They both show the views people have on the world, but on very different topics. I hope you enjoyed this piece as much as I do. And thank you for watching my Art You Can See in a Day video.